Yes, I believe so. Um, if by prescriptive analysis uh, you mean um, using some linguistic insights or some prior knowledge to inform model building, I definitely think there is a lot of um, promising um, avenues of future research towards that direction. Um, right now we see a lot of models that um, do not employ any um, insights that are well known from either uh, linguistic theory or uh, psychology. They are a bit atheoretical. So uh, if we were to use information and knowledge and well-known facts from other disciplines to inform how we build the models and how we approach data, I think our models would improve and we would be able to solve tasks, if not more efficiently, more faithfully. So this is an interesting question. Um, again, um, I think learning theory is, is interesting in its own right, uh, but also it could inform model building. Uh, right now we actually have a few techniques, a few models that we use all the time and um, they work very well and the performance is impressive, but we don't know why they work. We don't know when they're, whether they're the right models for the right task. We don't know um, whether we have enough data for this model. So I think uh, learning theory uh, can help answer these questions uh, and also help us find the appropriate models for the appropriate task. It is the kind of technology that allows us to shape the space in which the representation of our data lives to our liking and might comply better with insights we have about the data. For example, the words are represented in uh, a space where things are organized hierarchically. That's an interesting question. I think yes and no. So text analysis is moving in the right way in the sense that at the moment we have very powerful tools that can process a lot of data, much more than we could do, let's say, 10 years ago. But NLP, in a sense, should not only rely on text. Um, text is just one of the modalities that, that allow us to perform understanding. And if we want to do natural language understanding, we would have to include other things aside from the language that enable us to perform this understanding. For example, visual data, spoken data. And I believe we will see in the future a lot more systems moving towards integrating knowledge and modalities that um, are not common nowadays. Certainly, um, digital assistants, for example, are moving that way by integrating spoken language as well as written language. Right. Well, at least to the extent we can do today a lot of things that we couldn't do before, uh, then we must be moving in some direction that is, that is right. Um, what we should, though, keep in mind is that there are many other fundamental problems around that we haven't yet started to to deal with, or at least we don't yet understand how to deal with. I think for as long as we take the success we see around as an incentive to push research forward, then I think this is a, the right way to go about it. So um, it is very impressive that the machine can actually do so well, given that it's only given um, a limited amount of data. Uh, that the human has access to. Uh, so I would say it's not reasonable in the sense it's not realistic. Um, can it do very well? Uh, the answer would be yes, given you know the limitations of the learning environment that the machine is exposed to. Can we do better? Yes. In the future, we will see more complicated models, more models that do not just learn from text, but from 
other sources of information. And, and, and the important thing here, and this is the difficulty, and that's why we're not seeing many of these models nowadays, is how do we actually represent data from other sources? We can do text, we know how to represent text, and maybe speech, but we don't know how to do the environment. So representation will be a problem. And in addition to that, how do you, does one combine all this information so that then the model can do something really clever? But these are all very exciting research directions that we can tackle in the future. Yes, I think it really varies from problem to problem. So there are problems that perhaps um, representing just textual data and finding um, patterns in textual data will suffice. Perhaps that's enough when we are looking for um, what film to watch next or which song to listen to. Um, but there are problems for which we need um, to know more about the world and how the world functions. Um, so that is just plain knowledge that perhaps we don't know how to represent and how to uh, provide to our models. So then I think, yeah, it will really depend on what kinds of problems we are trying to address.